So SD is a close-knit unit. There's students from all over the world, various different backgrounds, professional students and students who've come from their undergrad degrees. Creates a very good mix, an interesting mix for everyone uh, to, uh, you know, uh, produce the best output that they possibly can. And uh, I think what's also good about CISD is that we have a lot of skills training, practical elements in our teaching, not just the theory, but also the skills that the students need to succeed in their future careers. So it might be risk analysis, it might be policy analysis, it might be strategic communications and advocacy. All these things that uh, a lot of our students will need as they progress into their careers in the field. And as we are told, they often do use these skills as they move into their new roles and then they come back to us and they tell us about, uh, you know, oh, we've done the pestle analysis, oh, I've had to conduct a risk analysis, oh, I've had to write a brief for the minister. And I've learned all of this on the course. And uh, this is really good to prepare me for the career that I'm embarking on. They move on into a number of really interesting careers, various different fields, be it in the private sector or for governments or in the third sector, NGOs. Uh, or even in academia. So our rates in terms of placing our students in various different careers uh, after CISD are very good. What's really interesting about CISD is that our students come from so many different backgrounds. We're not really asking our students to come with a social science degree as their academic background. Sometimes they're uh, medical doctors, sometimes they're singers and musicians and artists, sometimes they're engineers. Uh, they come with a certain skill set and something they're really good at and they come with a passion. They really want to make a difference in the world and they want to use their degree as a stepping stone to get to where they want to be trying to shape outcomes, trying to influence other people and trying to make a difference. And I think that's what's required. It's not about coming uh, you know, with a particular degree and uh, we're all going to have the same kinds of students here and you know, selling our masters. We need people who are passionate about something. And that's what we try to cultivate and that's what we try to use to turn it into uh, uh, the leaders of the 21st century really.